gentlemen. We've got some good news to start the week. Guarding the third largest distillers in North America and their new West Coast ad agency. Oh. Absolutely. Shouldn't we wait for Ms. Fuller? Yeah, Ms. Fuller won't be joining us this morning. Over the weekend, Ms. Fuller and I have concluded a number of discussions regarding the future each of us envisions for this company. And as a result of that, Ms. Fuller has asked that I accept her resignation. And reluctantly, I have. You rotten bastard. Miss Fuller, this is crazy. No. What's crazy is that I believed you hired me for my creative mind. But that's not what you wanted, was it? Was it? Oh, well, well, well Rob, Robert, please. <laughs> Miss Tracy, nice to see you again. Miss Tracy, yes. Excuse me, are you defending Robin Fuller? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? You can let me help. I'm Madeline Hayes, Blue Moon Investigations. Well, why don't you call my office or send a brochure or something? I'm not a detective's version of an ambulance chaser. I know this isn't the proper way to solicit business, but I read about this case and I want to help, and I'll do it for free. Do you mean pro bono? Exactly. It's so unfair to your client being fired because she won't sleep with her boss. You got any character references, affidavits, all kinds of materials, and I can help with the legwork. As I said, I'll do it for free. I've worked for two other companies in the past 10 years. Nothing like this has ever happened. I'll get you my resume. It's an A-plus resume. I'm listed in who's who of American advertising women, for goodness sake. How did you get the job at Fast Advertising? Well, I've been creating spots for wineries in the Bay Area. They caught Neil's attention. He flew to San Francisco, took me out to dinner, and offered me a great job. When did you first realize he had more than a job on his mind? Pretty early on. He started doing things. I have this skirt with pockets in the back, and he would walk up behind me and put his hands in pockets and, you know. And how did you respond? Long skirts and high necklines. But that didn't stop him. I thought I could handle it, or he'd get bored. I love my work. I didn't want to lose my job. So finally, we were finishing a presentation on a very big account. It was late Saturday afternoon, just Neil and I after a while. He poured some scotch and started telling me what an asset I was and how I would be perfect to run the account. He said, how would I like that? I said, great. And then he said, you know, you really deserve to be a partner. How would you like that? I said, my dream is to become a partner. And then he said, you know, I've always thought you were very special. Why don't we, you know. And in 20 minutes, you'd be a partner. I said no, so he fired me. Thank you. Yesterday morning, you wanted the gun to, to scare him into giving you your job. Right? Scare him? I wanted to kill him. But I, I don't know anything about guns. I've never shot a gun. I hate guns. I was very upset. I was angry. I was in a fog. I don't think we should try defending you on mental incompetency. On the other hand, my female intuition tells me the DA is going to blow a lot of cigar smoke at whatever plea bargain I try to arrange. Well, I'm no lawyer, but the DA won't be able to light up a cigar if you can convince the jury, half of whom are women, that Robin was forced to defend herself. Easier said than done. We've got to nail this guy. <laughs> 